Hello there ladies and gentlemen, and yes, welcome back to, yes, another video, yes, yes. We are actually doing stuff, well, in other words, as you can tell, we're doing multiple videos on the same day, because I'm, I'm getting quite, quite busy with gym, and getting ready to go back to college, and so on and so forth, but yeah, we're getting there, we're doing stuff. So today, we're going to be talking about a religious leader, um, should we say a, a hate cleric, if you will, that is actually saying, and no, this is not me paraphrasing, this is not me taking him out of context, this is not me doing anything that would be dishonest. I do mean that. He is literally saying that gay people have arrived and were created or evolved by the fact of pregnant women letting their husbands, while they're pregnant, having anal intercourse. Can't say too much onto that aspect as much as I would love to rip into that one, but unfortunately, YouTube. So, yeah, there's a cleric that thinks a sexual orientation for the aspect of men fancying other men arrived from men having intercourse would we would should we say in the wrong hole should we say and somehow that intercourse in the wrong hole has somehow led to men fancying other men okay yeah that's let's get into this video shall we So, as you can see, I, I'm not actually lying. Gay people exist because pregnant women have anal sex, Bishop says. Yay! So, religious leader, the Bishop of Morfu, neo Hippotis, I believe it's on Malta. Oh, sorry, Cyprus. Has claimed women enduring anal sex while pregnant is the reason that gay people exist. Not me taking it out of context. Honest. Speaking at a primary school in Akaki, Cyprus. I'm sorry for pronunciation. And I am shite at pronunciation. He claimed that the enjoyment the mother experiences transfers to the fetus, making the child gay. Okay. So, the actual... Let, let's just take it from this, right? Let's say that this, this actually happened. Let's say that this actually happened, right? That means that for any person to give anybody pleasure, you should be doing anal sex. And it doesn't matter if you're gay, lesbian, heterosexual, or whatever. To make somebody really happy, you should have anal intercourse. Because that, well, I do know that there is somebody on Twitter called um, Lonely Wolf that would actually say that the way to a man's heart is through his prostate. I don't know. Not something that I'd be interested in, but hey. So, in a video translated by Metro.co.uk, he said, It happens during the parent's intercourse or pregnancy. Okay. Anyway, English. It follows an abnormal sexual act between the parents. To be more clear, anal intercourse. And some saint says that when the woman likes that, a desire is born, and then the desire is passed on to the child. Okay. The bishop was speaking during a series of spiritual meetings of dialogue 
that ran until this month, according to Accept LGBTI Cyprus. There is a video there that goes into it that shows you basically exactly the same as what I had shown you and said. But please, please go and actually look, look at this link, watch the video, get the full context. I'm not going to play it because, you know, YouTube. Oh my God, who the hell cares? So coming down to this end of the story, because that's literally almost the end of it, believe it or not. The meetings are open to anyone and the audience ranges from children to elders with people open to asking the Bishop of Morpho whatever they want. Many studies have been carried out to find out why people are gay and no definitive answer has ever been given. However, we can find no evidence of any scientific studies being carried out to find out if pleasure from anal sex is expectant mothers is or ever has been a factor putting forward his evidence the orthodox christian bishop told other people gathered before him that saint um Porifius had written about the issue and that saint is a relatively newly declared saint who died in the 90s who told gay people they should remain single and pray the gay away for the rest of their life now for people that are going to say, well, why is this a story? Why does this matter? It matters on to the aspect of if you believe in equal rights for everyone. And the reason I'm not going into the whole diatribe of LGBTQI and all that sort of stuff, I'm not going into it. But if you have religious leaders, and he is unfortunately a religious leader, coming out and actually saying that, oh, gay happens because you do it this way. Don't do that. Or literally going to saints that have said that, oh, you need to pray the gay away and be single and be celibate for the whole of your life and pray the gay away kind of doesn't really go with our, should we say, society at this moment in time. And I know some people would say, well, society is crumbling anyway, so why does it matter? It matters to me. The reason why it matters to me is because if a gay person has less rights than I have, then by proxy... That if people perceive me to be a certain way or have certain characteristics, then due to that perception, I then lose my rights. You could argue that this is, comes from a purely selfish manner. But at the same point, that selfish manner encapsulates and enforces the fact that equal rights will be shared by all. Because if I have a chance of losing rights, then I'm going to protect the least person to have their rights protected. Because if I don't, then I could turn into that person. That's the reason why I would fight for anybody's personal rights and rights and freedoms. This in itself though, just proves to the fact of me that not religion in itself, but certain religious factors and religious preachers, or activists or figureheads are Pushing these types of narratives coming from a point of bigotry. And I do mean actual bigotry as definitioned in the dictionary, not how it's been defined to mean literally anybody that says a bad word about anybody. But this form of bigotry is coming from the fact of if you do an immoral act, you have an immoral equivocation. In this case, a gay baby. It doesn't go on to the fact of saying that if this woman had a woman child or little girl how that little girl would then grow up to maybe want the same thing the equivocation isn't put into place and no not a feminist argument i'm literally saying that it's only an argument from one aspect which means that because it's an argument from one aspect it's a flawed argument it doesn't consider the whole picture because it doesn't consider the whole picture it's an argument from incongruity it means because i don't know therefore it is and that's just for a ridiculous argument in itself. But even if you were to take the argument as face value and say that, oh, it, it may be correct, let's do that as a hypothetical thought experiment, shall we? Why would it matter? Why would it matter if doing that action would cause your child to be of a particular sexuality? Why would it matter? Are you saying that the gays are going to destroy the whole of society? 
just because that they fancy other men. I don't see how that equivocates to being an immoral action or something that we should force ourselves not to do. And for a start, that's going back to the actual start of the equivocation of the argument or the synergy of the argument, you then have the point of not all women will have that when they're pregnant. Means that it would never ever take over the whole of society if true in the first place. But yet somehow that's bad because God says it's bad? Or because you say that God says it's bad? In any religion, not just picking on this particular ideology, but in any. And I've never understood that. I never ever will. How a person's sexuality straight away apparently denotes that they are immoral and therefore shouldn't be trusted or this or that. Yeah, I've never really understood the actual reasons why people would push that as an immorality. I have never really understood it. Maybe somebody in the comment section can actually explain why it's immoral. I can understand how it's impractical on an evolutionary state. I can understand that. But I don't understand why it's immoral. I just don't. Sorry. And I also don't think that that's the correct way of trying to pray the gay away by saying that women that have anal intercourse causes gay people. I, you know, that's just fucking ridiculous and... Uh, sorry, YouTube. Retarded. Retarded. But hey, that's just what I think. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section and wherever... With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. Thank you very much for taking the time to like, share and subscribe to this video, to this channel and sharing in general. Thank you very much. I bid you farewell. I bid you adieu. And I'll see you all again real soon. Bye bye for now, guys. Take care.